On this episode of Rack Daddies, Axel is chasing after his first ever gobbler, then we will introduce you to the Rack Daddies pro staff, and we'll end it off with Axel and Trevor doing a little bass fishing at the honey hole. turkeys this spring gobbler season. Yeah, I got my turkey about two weeks ago, and as a matter of fact, didn't your sister get one too? Yes, she did, and now it's my turn. We've been seeing turkey here ever since my dad put up the trail camera. As a matter of fact, you can see our ground blind in the background. Our setup was pretty sweet. We were on a wide trail that was heading straight through the property. Yeah, and once again we had Axel's dad doing all the calling, and in the meantime, me and Axel were in the ground blind waiting for the turkeys to come in. This time we were bringing in the bird right at the crack of dawn. And it took about 10-15 minutes after calling to get this bird real close, and I had to get in position for the quick shot. So a couple minutes after Axel got in position for the shot, the gobbler came strutting in. My freaking ears are ringing. Oh, oh, dude. Dude. You whacked him, man. Oh, look, look at, at the beard, dude. dude. That is oh, it's nice. freaking, he's still alive, Dad. What did you just say? Get first, because his gobbles, his gobbles weren't. Listen to this. Listen. Oh, hey. <laughs> what did he just do? Thank you, oh, bad boy. Goodness. Did you see when he came up? He came right at him. He oh, got yeah. pissed. He was like, <laughs> right at him. What did you say again? I have no clue what I was saying. I don't even know what was coming out of my mouth. But on a serious note, I was extremely blessed with this hunt and the bird that I took. I couldn't have been more happy with my harvest. I could tell. <laughs> well, once again, the boneyard has produced the opportunity to take such an awesome animal, and we took advantage of it once again. Now that you've gotten to know us through a few of our hunts, let's introduce you to the Rack Daddy's Pro Staff as we share our lives and favorite hunting moments. Here we got Trevor Schweitzer. He's the co-founder of Rack Daddy's. He has been fishing for most of his life and hunting for only about six years. He also plays sports including golf for about three years and lacrosse for nine. Now my favorite hunting moment was about two years ago with my Uncle Rick. We were at this one farm of his buddies, a good friend of him. They have, they still had the corn still up so we needed to cut that down so we got the combine out and made a little makeshift drive. And about 15 minutes into the so called drive, we had a three doe run out, about 70 yards on the run. I shot the biggest doe, that one fell, and about 15 minutes after that, we had a buck that ran out of the cornfield, but it was running the wrong way, and all I heard on the radio was, the buck's going the wrong way, and I saw my uncle take off down to the other side of the cornfield, and lo and behold, the buck came running back from about 70 yards and dropped that one right next to the doe. Axel Hartman is a co-founder of Rack Daddies. Axel grew up fishing and hunting alongside his dad who taught him the ropes in life. 
He grew up playing baseball, but found his true love for golf at the age of 13. Axel runs his own successful charity golf tournament every year to benefit the Keystone Wounded Warriors. He is committed to play golf at Millersville University as he turns a new chapter in his life. If I had to pick my favorite hunting memory, it's a tough one to do, but it had to be the first time I ever went pheasant hunting with my dad. Something just clicked out in that field and I've been hooked on it ever since. Every year I look forward to going out in those fields and now that I can do it with my friends, it just makes the, the experience much more memorable. If I ever get a hunting dog, good luck getting me out of those fields. Noah Markle has been in the outdoors ever since he can remember. He loves to be out there with his friends and family and is always making new memories. He also plays football for West York High School. When people ask me about my favorite hunting memory, my mind automatically goes to my first deer kill with my dad. I was 12 at the time, first year out archery hunting, and we set up in the stands. My dad was overlooking a cornfield and I was looking over the woods. And it was getting late, the sun was starting to go down, and I haven't seen a deer yet. And I told my dad, I said, Dad, here, here comes the buck. He, he didn't believe me. He turned around and he said, don't look at the rack, you're going to start shaking. So I got my bow all ready, and he stopped 20 yards, broadside. I flung an arrow at him, hit him perfect, saw him run off. Me and my dad both got really excited, and it was really cool because the rest of my family came up, helped track the deer, and when I found the deer, everyone went crazy. You are the man, oh, Noah! Oh my, oh my gosh! Woo! Oh my I got a video of this. Oh. Noah, One, two, three, you so are the man. Well, we all know who has the real rack daddy here. Yeah, that was a good buck, dude. Good job. Thanks. So now that you've gotten to know us a little better, we're throwing it back to when Trevor and Axel had their first thoughts of starting a hunting and fishing show. We had no idea what we were doing, but hey, it gets funny, so stay tuned. Huge shout out to our supporters on Instagram who are helping to grow our show. Why don't you give them a follow at American Country Pride and at Kaylin Adriana. And hey, while you're at it, go follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Rack Daddies. Now, let's get back to the show where Axel and Trevor are doing a little bass fishing at the Honey Hole. Oh, let's go! Let's go <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice, that's a nice There we go. Let's go. That was great. That was that's a nice fish that's right there fish. too. That's it. Hello. Nice fish. Oh, look inside me. Oh, look inside me. Oh, look inside me. <laughs> Guys, don't even ask. <laughs> oh, <I'm> sick. <laughs> and today we're using the buzz baits. Anyways, that's a good day of fishing. Good day of fishing. Right when you get the bass thumb. Let's go. Oh, yeah. That's a nice bass. Woo! Oh, yeah. No nice fish with the pond. Using a buzz bait. Nice bass. Decent, decent. Get him? Oh yeah. Nice. Oh, oh no. no! Trevor! That was pretty cool though. Oh, 
Okay. Can you kiss it? Very nice. Hey yo! That's money right there. Oh! Are you Dude, I said that was money too. I got it. I got it. And you know, two to three years later, I can still remember that perfect day. Yeah, it was a beautiful day. They were hitting on everything. Frogs, torpedoes, sluggos, buzz baits, you name it. They were biting on everything. It was a perfect day. Yes, sir. There we go. There we go, baby. money, baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Go, go, go. Move up, move up, move up. Still on? Yeah, he's right there. That's another big boy. Oh, that was another big boy. <laughs> That's a nice one. Oh. That hit it right away. Nice. He gone. Here you go. Alright, cast out there those middle weeds. Ooh. Middle weeds. Take it past them and bring them right over top. Here. Oh, 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 it's teasing you. Oh, my goodness. Get back here. Get back here. That's more. He stopped to see what it <laughs> you better believe that fish is Get a good cast. Well, that's a good cast. Just kidding. Cast where it went over. There you go. Oh, that's a nice cast. Let's go. Let's go. I don't, dude. Freaking. It feels heavy. Dude, that's a lunker. Dude, that is a big bass. Get out of the water. Let's go. Right through the freaking tongue. Well, guys, this is our last cast for the day. Hope you've enjoyed watching the Trevor and Axel hunting and fishing show. We'll see you next week. Now, that may have been ugly to watch, but let me tell you, we were having a blast out there, that's for sure. You told me you smacked about 30 bass that day. Yeah, we weren't fortunate enough to get them all on camera, but hey, we had a lot of fun doing it. Now tune in next week as we go pheasant hunting. Yeah, we have a lot of great footage, but not a lot of birds to show for it. We'll catch you next week on Rack Daddies. That's money right there. <laughs>